What up, y'all? I'm back with another review, and I'm here to review the newest studio album, the third studio album from Vince Staples, entitled <clears throat> FM. Now, Vince Staples is one of those artists who I haven't had the best... I haven't had the best relationship with his music, and I don't mean to say that like I think any of his music is whack. Vince Staples is actually... Of all the artists, especially in hip-hop right now, of all the artists that are out right now, um, whether they be solo or duo, group, um, click, etc., um, Vince Staples is the one that I want to like the most. Um, but yeah, I know about his projects from um, Stolen Youth, which was p produced entirely by, by Mac Miller, rest in peace, Mac. Um, I did not know about the Shine... Cold Chain 2. I did not know about that mixtape in 2014. Um, but I, had all, I heard about Hell Can Wait in 2014. Uh, of course, in 2015, he drops, which, well, what seems like it's going to be a classic, uh, Summertime 06. Uh, the, the one song on there that I really fucked with, and hold on, it's, let me pull it up. The one, I think it was the last track, actually. Yeah, it was Summertime. Yeah. Uh, just 10 tracks long that project, but 59 minutes, um, then Prima Donna in August of 2016, which I can't even act like I forgot about that project, um, then last year, Big Fish Theory, and it had like two or three Andre 3000, um, features on there, I believe, and, um, uh, Vic Mensa, Vic, Vic Mensa, Jesus, Vince Staples, <laughs> Vince Stables is just one of those guys that I, I want to like, but um, it's, not, like, it's not that he's not good or anything. It's not like he's bad. It's just for some reason he doesn't click with me like that, and I just don't get why. Like I, I hear what he raps about. I hear the way he raps, um, and it's like, how am I not feeling this guy? Like The way he raps, what he raps about, and over the um, beats that I feel like I should be more into... It's like, how am I not feeling this? I, I just don't understand. Um, I'm out of, okay, okay, so I got that wrong. It was on, it was on Prima Donna. He had those, he had a Andre 3000 feature, but I swear he had at least one or two Andre features on um, Big Fish Theory. Um, but I, I don't see it listed, though. I don't see... Andre Benjamin or Andre 3000 listed. Um, but yeah, I remember that a uh, Big Fish, which was a single to promote that album, Big Fish Theory, was uh, with Juicy J. I remember that track. I remember watching the music video, actually. And, um, uh, but yeah, just I just don't have the smoothest relationship, not the best relationship. But but again, not to say that Vic Min uh, Vince Staples is a bad artist. He's not. For some reason, it, it just doesn't click with me. But I can say that this project right here is one that I can't say really clicks with me. Like it's just it blew my mind and it just explained all the hype. Cause cause the hype around Vic Mensa is explained. Not just with the music, but his personality. Like the dude is cool and funny as shit. But with this project, it didn't blow me away, but I this album was just easier to listen to. Uh actually where are my notes at for this album? Um, this album is just easier to listen to. This album was, um, uh, it was, it was just that West Coast shit. It was that, um, he, and of course he's from Compton. It's that, uh, Southern California. It's that, uh, LA, South Central, you know what I'm talking about. It's that vibe. Um, just that West Coast summer hyphy shit. And I don't mind that sound. Like, guys like, you know, S-O-B, X-R-B-E, they do that. Uh, Nipsey Hussle does it, um, and others as well. Game, of course. But um, let's go ahead and get right into this. The first track, Feels Like Summer, is just strictly on some West Coast shit. Like, it, it had that summer vibe like this album does, and um, it was hypey. It really kicked the album off well for me. Uh, I believe this was all, all these skits that were on here, they were via Big Boy, Big Boy Radio. Um, big boy, B O I though, not B O I from Outcast. Um, where is actually this right here? Okay, just wanted to make sure I had all this up too. 
Uh, the next track I want to talk about is Outside. All I can really say about this track was that it was that it was cool. That's that's pretty much it. I feel like I'm missing something. Like I have my notes in front of me, but I'm I'm missing a few things. Hold on. Okay. Um, track number three, Don't Get Chipped. This was an absolute banger. Um, to to be honest, like it was a banger. A lot of the tracks on here are bangers anyway, but this was like a legit banger. I mean, I love the vibe that I was getting from the beat and the vibe that I was just getting from the track itself. He's saying like, don't get chipped. He's just pretty much saying like, um, but don't fuck with me. The next track that is probably my favorite track on here is track number four, Relay. It is one, not just one of the darker, it's the darkest beat on here if you ask me, but not dark like a a depressing dark, almost like it's kind of eerie, gives you some chills type of dark. Um, let's see. Hold on. Okay, but yeah, it the the beat it was, it's like it was almost instrumental. Um, uh, it, it's like it was almost experimental. If I'm being honest, um, like it gave me vibes at least with the. With the bass, I was like, it sounds like something off of Big Fish Theory, which I really wanted to like that too. I remember doing a discussion video about that album, but not reviewing the album. I remember saying that I wanted to like it because the sound was almost industrial. It was kind of experimental on there as well. And I was like, being a guy who's into that kind of music, it's experimental and industrial, like a Death Grips, uh, but not, not anywhere close to what Death Grips does as far as being industrial, but... Um, given the the experimental sound and the uh, just how industrial that it not how industrial it was but the vibes of industrial uh, that were on there, um, and I guess you could say alternative and experimental. T um, not really so abstract, but yeah, you could say that was on there. So to hear that on this beat on relay, um, I got that almost experimental vibe. Not so much industrial and not so much alternative or abstract either. The next track I want to talk about is, well, let's let's just skip the interlude. Track number five is New Earl Sweatshirt. It was just an interlude um, with Earl on some classic West Coast hyphy type shit. I was like, all right, Earl. Okay. Like, if that's what's going to be on the New Earl, I'm, I'm hype. Track number six, um, Run the Bands. This was cool, too. It was a pretty simple song. It, it was just cool. Track number seven, Fun. What am I, pretty much what I can say about this is not just the lyrics itself, what they talk about, you know, just not trying to bother nobody, just have fun. The beat was actually pretty fun as well. Like, it felt kind of just, not all over the place, but it felt bouncy. It was it was really fun. So, um, track number eight. Uh, no bleed. Uh, pretty much just another banger, if you ask me. Um, then you got track, well, track nine. And ten, they're just well. Nine's an interlude. It's Tiger interlude, which had some Tiger that sounded pretty all right actually. And then there's track ten, five, six, two, four, five, three, nine, three, eight, two, which is skit. I'm just gonna assume that's the number for um to reach Big Boy Radio. Um, I've seen a few Big Boy interviews with guys like Kendrick, Game, Ice Cube, and uh, Big Boy's cool as shit. He's like he's like another sway if you ask me. Like. They're both just cool as shit. And then there's the last track on here. Tweaking. And here it's um, it's pretty much Vince saying like, it's crazy out here. Like, where he's located. Out in the world, period. But where he's at, it's like, yo, it's crazy out here. Um, it's got him kind of paranoid. He's getting these calls. Not necessarily like warnings from enemies, but just um, he's getting... Um, He's getting calls. He's getting, you know, tips. Um, he's getting some, uh, uh, I wouldn't say advice, but he's just getting, you know, um, some help from his boys. Like, they're giving him calls and, you know, just, just looking out for him, saying, like, hey, um, Fed's here. Enemy's here. Um, they just got a boy. Or they're just roaming around this part of the city. It's like, things are getting crazy, so... He was just talking about how it's crazy, so it's starting to him. It's starting to make him become paranoid, I guess. And he's starting to trip. He's he's starting to tweak. He's tweaking. Um, 
But yeah, this this was a good project. Like this was the easiest project yet for me to listen to with Vince Staples, which is why I feel that I fuck with it the most. But I'm still gonna go back to um, Stolen Youth, uh, that mixtape that I mentioned. Um, Hell can wait. I'm gonna go back to Summertime '06. I'm gonna go back to Prima Donna. And I'm going to go back to Big Fish Theory. Not today, but I am going to eventually go back to those projects. Because Vince Staples is one of those artists, like I said, the way he raps, what he raps about, um, uh, just his personality, how funny he is, and just how cool he is. Um, uh, he's just one of those artists that I really want to like. So I'm definitely going to go back to all those projects. I'm going to go back to this, too, because this is, like I said, the easiest yet to listen to for me it's um it's my favorite do i think it's his best no even though i don't fuck with the other ones like i do this one i can i can still acknowledge and recognize when he's put out better work even if i didn't necessarily mess with it like i do this but uh, if i gave this a rating i'd give this a 7 out of 10 if you've heard this project please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and what you think about my review on it if you haven't had this project i definitely recommend that you check it out and uh, you know what to do. Hit the like button if you like this review. Share the review. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like the content that you see. And check the description. You know, just there's something, there's a link down there for you to click. I'm, I'm sure it is. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I will see y'all next time.